Welcome to the good ride where two dudes, a table, four bindings, and a lot of knowledge and help for an average guy all come together. James Beastie, David Boy here. Today we're talking about the Cartel X Reflex and we're comparing it against the EST. Davey got some time on these. I've gotten some time on not these larges, but I've gotten some time on mediums, and I'm hopping in here to help him with this review and the comparison between the EST versus Reflex. I've gotten a shit ton of days on the Cartel X on a wide variety of boards and a wide variety of conditions, and I've ridden the Cartel X EST with several Burton boards because it's only for Burton boards and channel compatible boards, like maybe two or three other brands that use the EST channel that Burton has. I rode these on the Custom X Camber with my Burton Ion boots, so we kept it all in the Burton family. In the past, I've ridden these with Burton Kendos, Burton Ions, all kinds of boots. Just, I don't, we don't have time for that, guys. Just know it's a lot. Let's talk weight. These are light. I think they're two pounds for the mediums. For the larges, they're a little more, but they have a great weight. It's not too heavy, not too light. When it comes to high back flex, the Cartel X versus the Cartel has just a little stiffer high back, a little bit stiffer base plate, but both the Cartel X Reflex and Cartel X EST have the same exact high back. It's pretty stiff. It's got a little twist, but not much and very little give going back, just a touch. You can feel just a little bit of a flex, but there's a good pad throughout this entire binding here. And then you have this little rubber stopper right here on both bindings, the EST and the Reflex, which really hold your boot in place. Sometimes it feels like a suction cup when you're trying to get out. It just doesn't want to go. If you have a rubber backstay from Burton, it can get really suction cuppy, but it helps. Yeah, the engagement with the heel of the boot and the high back of the binding is just phenomenal, especially like you just said, when you got a Burton boot with this Burton binding. It doesn't have to be a Burton boot, just a rubber backstay on yeah. any binding. For me personally, I had the Ion boots when I was wearing these and they just, fit together like two peas in a pod the heel and the high back felt like there was some good continuous contact and you felt it as you were engaging into your turns when it comes to flex underfoot and butterability the Burton reflex is there with almost every mini disc maybe even a little bit better you can see the whole middle of the binding is made to flex from the disc to the toe, the gas pedal, this area, even the sway bar has some flex here and then down the middle. So you get this flex. It's very hard to do on camera, but you can see like this just bends a little easier. There are some mini discs that come very close and are about the same as Burton Reflex. And like, for example, some unions I like have a soft, bottom here. This hard plastic right here can sometimes break down a board faster, their top sheet. Some bindings have soft padding throughout the bottom in a mini disc. Those are right there with the Burton. But the next level from there is this. All you have is the sway bar here, a little protection to keep the sway bar from causing weird pressure points. And then the rest is just EVA foam throughout. And this one, I can actually bend a good bit easier. It's still not terribly easy to see on camera, but these flex so well, and it allows the board to flex naturally underfoot. This is next level. Nobody's really at this level. Now, one thing though, with being able to ollie, you have hinge tech with the EST, and this just moves a little bit each way, it has springs to it. It's basically a hinge. It can roll this way or that way. It gives you a little extra ollie power versus the reflex, but it's not a ton but it is noticeable and I felt like welcome to the Ollie Assist program. This helped me Ollie a little higher than the Reflex, but would I get the EST? No, I would get the Reflex just because I can ride this with any board. I can only ride this with EST. I can't tell you how many people email me 
and they like the board they have from Burton, but they want something else that's just not in Burton's line of boards. And they're trying to ask me, which Burton board should I get? And I'm like, none, keep the Burton board you have now, get this extra board for your quiver, but now you have to buy new bindings. And if you had bought Reflex, you wouldn't have to. Long tangent. When it comes to turn initiation and response, all these Burton Cartel Xs, the EST and the Reflex, have very smooth response. And yes, the Cartel X, they're pretty responsive for Burton, but if you step outside of the Burton family of bindings, these aren't that responsive. So if you want a really responsive binding, you have to look elsewhere. But if you like a smooth, continuous response, these will work really well. If you want more response from Burton, you have to go to step on, but you're introducing a lot of advantages and disadvantages for that because you get a lot more response than these Cartel Xs. Even their most mellow binding, the Burton Genesis step on, is much more responsive than the Cartel X or even the X Base or whatever they're calling it now, their full on stiff dogger, as Davey says. That is even their most mellow step on is just so much higher than all their regular reflex and EST. When it comes to shock absorption and dampness, I love this, this Kush EVA foam heel pad with, you can see right here, a little gel pad and that is good and it helps with a little bit of dampening and you can see the heel pad here very shock absorbent and good and when you compare it to est you have similar shock absorption because there's some plastic under this guy here in places but this has almost the same amount of foam but more gel you can see a much bigger gel pad in the heel there. I feel overall the shock absorption and dampness is very similar. They both do very well in absorbing shock, but if you want a damper ride that absorbs a lot of chatter, these don't necessarily do that as well as some bindings. So shock absorption, yes, they've got it. Dampness, no, not as much dampness as a lot of bindings. This plastic on the bottom of the Reflex and the EST doesn't really dampen up the ride that much. I'd love to see like a rubber bottom in those places. That yeah, I, I agree with that. I think upgrading <laughs> the plastic would definitely improve these bindings. But yeah, the shock absorption is good. And I think it, that's a really good point that Beastie makes, like the difference between the dampness and the shock absorption. These are very shock absorbent and they're not the most damp. And I would love to see the upgrade in the plastic just to get that extra dampness because these bindings could be just a couple of tweaks could really take these things as good as any binding is in the market. And when it comes to boot support, both the Reflex Cartel X and the Cartel X EST have the same boot support. They have a very good, very big supportive ankle strap that really just covers your boot and supports it in any kind of condition you wanna ride you're good. Their toe straps are a little lacking for me. I never can really get, even with Burton boots, this to wrap around really well. And when I ratchet it down, and we're gonna talk about ratchets now, because that's part of the support, pulling the boot really into this heel cup, then making sure you don't have to crank down this ankle strap too tight and cause pressure points on your foot, which lead to long-term foot damage and can really fuck you up over time. So don't do that. Go a couple clicks past contact, make sure it's snug and supportive, but don't keep going. With this, go ahead and crank this down all the way. Crank it as tight as you want, because it goes over the outside of the boot and doesn't touch a single part of your foot. That's why I love this over the toe strap with all bindings out there. What I don't love about this is sometimes I'll crank down here and when I get to that spot where I'm happy and I want to crank one or two more, this stops and, and pops back up. Yeah. And I've often got to the bottom of the run and this is this toe strap is loose uh, or it's even come off. And it's just like with the riding and hard carves, you're putting so much pressure on this, it sometimes pops open and comes loose. I wish they had a better ratchet system here. This is better than their double take ratchet ladder, but it's still not where I want it. And uh, I wish they fixed that. 
Yeah, I also feel like this toe strap, like the plastic on it, just is kind of stiff and isn't the most flexible. Like it doesn't have the most articulation. I feel like if it, even if this solid plastic strip just had a little bit of like striations in it that allowed it to have a little bit more torsional flexion, it would be better. But like you see, it doesn't torsionally flex back this way at all. It's just kind of like limited compared to other straps that have more of like this type of articulating pattern cut and in, sewn into the, into the plastic. It, I just feel like this one's just a little chonky and doesn't just doesn't quite articulate around your your toe, the toe box of your boot, as well as some other toe So you're saying as this one bends up, this one should bend down more? And, and Yeah, whatever hole type pattern they do to allow them to bend more evenly and consistently, having a, something a, just in this big plastic areas would help with the overall shape of it to grip around your toe box. I feel like it just doesn't like quite form fit to your boot as well as some other competitors toe straps yeah and i don't know what it's doing but i know it's not the best for me i've had a lot worse toe straps and this is livable but i would like to see improvement there and have it conform to your toe better I agree. yeah i agree with you there i'm not sure of the method but I'll leave that to the R&D team. When it comes to adjustability on the Cartel X Reflex and the Cartel X EST, you have limited adjustability in some areas. You have this cool forward lean where you just kind of flip it around and you can go higher and lower as much as you spin this. It's basically just a little screw in there that tilts the high back forward or backwards, which is fine. And when you bring it around this way and you're trying to put a boot in here and get this boot to fit centered in the binding, it's not the easiest task. The EST does a much better job with that and we'll get into that in a second. But basically there's no adjustability in the heel cup. There's only an adjustability buddy right here uh, to get the ankle strap higher up on your ankle for more support or lower. You have a two places to get the toe strap in. You can put the toe strap back or you can put the toe strap forward and match to your boot length. But all you have is an adjustable gas pedal that you can slide forward and backwards. Then if you want to center the boot on the board, you have two holes here. Here's for EST boards, these two holes right here, this one and this one. And then you have two holes for four hole pattern. What you have to do is you either have to move it up or back just a few millimeters or flip this and move it up or back a few millimeters. But you still don't have anywhere near the adjustability as many bindings with full size discs this size that have a much bigger channel. So there's much more slide uh, with a lot of other bindings. So that's something I forgot about last year and somebody pointed that out to me is that you could flip it. I forgot to mention that in the review, but the bottom line is, is it's still not very adjustable in terms of getting your boots centered on the board. Whenever I get the Cartel Reflex or any Reflex Burton binding, I'm always slightly off and that messes with my head a little bit. When you get on snow, it's usually not that bad. And with EST, you can do that too, if you set up on an EST board or a channel system. But with Burton EST, you have full slide and you have this whole channel here. This works with the stance angles and the adjustability and you can do both and it really works well and then you have this little thing here on the bottom that sticks in the channel and then on the top here it tells you what angle you're at and where you're at so you can center your boot much better on board with the est but again you can only do that with Burton boards, so you're really closing your choices of boards down to just a small percentage. You just really don't have much adjustability, and you can't turn these discs this way because the reflex grooves don't work that way. It's only this way. And so stance with adjustability, you have none with four hole patterns. 
you just have to go to the next hole. And if you're riding a twin or something where you wanna be close to reference or find your stance width and be in the right place of the board that you wanna be, it's very hard to do with these. This has the best high back rotation in the business. You can just rotate this so well. Get your high back aligned with your heel side edge and get much more symmetrical, smoother heel side response. Overall, I like these bindings. I feel like they kind of tiptoe a really balanced line of being shock absorbent while being responsive. And they, and they perform well with all different riding styles and all different snow conditions. And they're just a very versatile binding in general. I definitely think you can find something that's gonna be a little bit more responsive. You could find something that's a little bit more damp and shock absorbent depending on if there's like, if one of those specific features really are calling to you, or if that's something, if you're looking to dial in. But if you're looking for something that's just gonna perform well across the board and give you a really long life, and you're gonna get the most out of your money in terms of durability and shelf life, these are one of the better options on the market. Well said, Davey.